You may notice that you're unable to zoom and pan whilst you're in the middle of this preview. This is because the form that we're using is not modeless, which means that we can't simply just go in and zoom and pan around the drawing or start other commands. If you do want to zoom and pan, you can click on the following button found on the form, at which point you're able to simply pan using your mouse wheel, holding it down, and then zoom again using your mouse wheel to scroll in and out. You can just press right click or escape to finish that particular uh, zooming command. And again, if you go too far and you accidentally close the form down, simply go back to the ribbon and begin the routine of long section plotting again. At the very top of this form, we've got the opportunity to pick some scales. So when we loaded in the style, the style had all of this content preset. It happened to have the 250 by 50 scale already set up. So we're simply going to change this just to see what it does by changing the X to 500 and the Y to 100. Once you've done that, you'll have to click on the update display button down the bottom. You can see there that we've got the long section scale immediately changed and we've got a lot more changes visible on screen. We've got the opportunity to pick our title block and the link for learning how to change the title block in the software is at the very top of this particular module. And we can also change the margins and this will restrict the, the left and the right and the top and the bottom of this long section in relation to the sheet or the A1 title block that we're currently using. Underneath we've got setup row data, which we're going to be covering very shortly. What we want to do first of all is click on the set CSD layers button. This controls all of the layers that you are offered during the process of plotting your long section. At the moment this list is being set up just for this project only. Any layers that are listed on the left hand side here are preset by the software and you can customize them and change them and add additional layers if you want. So this is not the same as the cross-section plotting where we just allow you to go ahead and pick from the layers within the drawing. Any layers that you create can then be assigned into the long section plotting. We can choose a color and the line type. So when you're picking the line type, you can use the by layer option, which will use whatever the line type is found on that particular layer. If you do happen to check on multiple edit, any setting that you change to the color or the line type of that one layer, any that you've got ticked will also have that assignment made to them. Click on OK. To see how that works in action, underneath we've got the Assign Plotting Layers button. So go ahead and click on that. This controls the layers that are used for the text within the drawing. And this also controls the text height and the style that is going to be used for the long section plotting. Now there is a lot of different elements found within the long section plotting which you control. If for ease you want to change the default text font, the size, the layer and the line that is being used for all of your long section plot, you can simply just go ahead and pick a style. So these are your CAD text styles. Maybe we'll just go ahead and pick standard. The text size is 2.5 we can then go ahead and pick a new layer. You'll notice that this list is identical to the list we looked at a second ago in the set CSD layers. So if you want additional layers added in there, you need to add them in there. And the line layer. Again, it's the same list of layers that is available. Once you've done that, if you happen to have picked a text layer and line layer, it doesn't matter. We're simply going to check the box down the bottom which says set all fonts to the default. So it will use whatever we've picked here in the default and replace. You can see that then are all now going to be standard. Same goes with the style. Set plotting layers will actually send us back to set CSD layers. We're going to click on apply and exit. We always need to update the preview by clicking on update display. Going to zoom in now using the little zoom button. You can see there we're now using a different font. Whatever the font is that's being assigned to the CAD style called standard. Going to just press escape. So that's the initial setup for getting the long section text and layers, etc., that are going to be available for you when you want to start making further changes. At the very top of the form, we've got formatting. So a fundamental part of using formatting is controlling the extent of your long section. So if you only wanted to see between chain age 0 and chain age 100, we could set that there, click on update display down the bottom, and we're now seeing simply a long section between chain age 0 and 100. 
We're going to just blank those out so we get the whole long section being plotted. On the alignment tab, we've got a couple of options. If you happen to plot vertical curves on your design, and we happen to be doing one right here, show radius will actually show a radius value underneath the vertical curve if you require a radius. Plan view width will dictate whether or not a viewport will be generated above your long section in this particular sheet when we plot. The viewport will be orientated with the UCS um, following the alignment. Um, so you can decide how much of the alignment is viewed left and right of change zero and the end change. So at the moment, this is a value of 10. If you do not want to see a viewport being generated when you come to plot these long sections, simply remove the value. We're going to click on set datum. In here, we can control how the datum is set up and presented to us. You can see there it's just sitting above the header of the bands there. One critical element is the option to be able to change how the datum is actually set up. At the very bottom of the form, we've got set datum levels. In here, you can manually type in changes for how you would want the datum level to be set up. So let's say between zero and 50, we wanted to have a datum that wasn't at 18.2, was it which exactly 18, we could say 18 and then say from 50 all the way to the end, we could say it needs to be 19. So very quickly, you can build up your own datum level all the way through the long section. Down the bottom, we've got a maximum distance. So this is the maximum distance between the datum itself and the lowest point on your long section. And we can have the software dynamically split the long section for you. So if we click on create splits automatically, Due to the fact that we're only seeing a very small amount of long section here, we've only got one split, and that's going to basically change the uh, datum level to 20.1. If there was a lot more content on our long section, then we'd end up with a lot more splits. And we can choose to use this if we wish. If we don't want to use it, then we can simply remove the values and then click on OK. Once we've done that, we're going to click on Update Display. At any point you want to see the different sheets associated with your long section, and you'll notice here that really this is not the entirety of road one, we can simply come down to the display controls and click on page two. There could be four or five sheets depending on the scale that we've set up in the general tab.